Cruise International is working toward protecting its customers' financial needs. 211 service returns to DeKalb County and we'll introduce you to this week's Pet of the Week. I'm Taylor Brooks. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Grab your W-2s and head over to Preferred Auto on Grand Staff and Auburn. We'll do your taxes for free and apply your refund right now as a down payment on a new car or truck. Then we'll match your down payment up to $500. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff and Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. Cruise International has announced a partnership that will enable them to better protect its customers. The company has teamed up with Chase Bank to provide a system guaranteeing car sellers 100% protection. The program involves the auction company placing the seller's money in a third-party escrow account with Chase Bank. Lawsuits are still pending against the owner, Dean Cruz, including one by Hillcrest Bank, claiming he owes $6.5 million, and another saying Cruz is in default on a loan for $7.8 million. And Northeast Indiana's 211 call center is once again active. The service provides free social services information about local services such as shelter, food, legal aid, utility assistance, health care, clothing, and other topics. The line is active 24 hours a day and for free, and is able to connect with 2,000 service agencies in 10 counties. INDOT is looking for ways to relieve congestion on I-69 near the DuPont Road interchange. The department has hired surveyors to inspect the land north of the DuPont Road exit and examine possible ways to improve the traffic flow. Rush hour is the main concern, according to INDOT representatives. They say that by 2030, traffic will more than double in that area. Survey work will continue over the next few weeks, and at that time, more ideas will be considered. And the investigation continues into what caused the Monday blaze at that destroyed a barn in Steuben County. The damage is estimated at $200,000. The fire was reported just after 5.30 p.m. at 5575 East and 540 North in Fremont. When crews arrived, the barn was already at least 70% engulfed. The building was used to store equipment for Book's tree service. No injuries were reported and no one was inside at the time of the fire. And game day at the Hope Community Church in Bryan will be this Saturday. You can support children with autism and other disabilities and at-risk youth while enjoying great food, raffles, games, and activities. The event runs 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. and any size donation is greatly appreciated. You can make a donation and get more information by calling Emily at 419-630-3675 and find more details in the Eden commercial. And this week's pet of the week is Axel. Axel was brought into the shelter as a stray. He's a boxer mix, three to four months old, and weighs 19 pounds. He is a very loving puppy and loves to play. If you'd like to adopt Axel or see other pets who need homes, visit the Humane Shelter on US 6 in Butler. And to see other pets of the week, go to iloveforoggy.com. And that's the news for now. Find more news at iloveforoggy.com. I'm Taylor Brooks. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.